in the world where binge watching is a superpower. Welcome to my top Netflix picks. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Daiba. It's been a long time, no see. But here I bring you my top Netflix recommendations. Let's dive in. My top number one recommendation is TVD The Vampire Diaries, the top OG show. In this, you will enter mystic falls where you will find vampires, witches, and werewolves colliding together, entering the world of supernatural mystery and romance. So when I first started watching this show, I was so hooked to it that I just completed all the six seasons in just few days. It is that binge worthy. So the number two is the originals. In this series, you will experience the epic tale of the original vampires, Nicholas's family. Basically, it's an extension of uh, the Nicholas character from the Vampire Diaries and the originals is basically set up in the New Orleans. You will find out the family of the original vampire, how they were created and how the family uh, is you know, keeping the promise of forever together. And uh, it's more about the powerful witches, how you know the vampires are trying to survive with everything negative going around them, the werewolves, the witches, and together with the original vampire's family. So number three, is the legacies it welcomes you to the school or the salvatore school for the young and gifted where the werewolves witches and the vampires study together and like stay together there it's basically the trilogy of uh, you know the vampire diaries than the originals than this legacy this legacy basically has the main character of hope michelson with the name you can know she's the daughter of klaus michelson so legacies is basically the thrilling of spin of the vampire diaries and the originals brings you the new generation of the supernatural in this series you will find out hope michelson landry cornby and their friends join together to find love loyalty and fight against all the evil so here number four comes the stranger things it welcomes you to hawkins indiana where the ordinary becomes the extraordinary the stranger thing is a critically acclaimed sci-fi series basically it's a sci-fi horror series here you will join mike 11 dustin lucas and these all friends together fight against the supernatural forces and the government conspiracies I really love the last season of Stranger Things very much because you find out about the antagonist, like who is the real antagonist in Stranger Things, who actually is the ruler of the underworld. And I'm waiting so much for the uh, next season which will come, hope so, next year. So number five is Wednesday. Here you will meet Wednesday Adams who is delightfully dark, witty heroine of the series and basically indulge the dark academia vibes. Wednesday series is a blend of mystery, romance, and the gothic charm. Number six comes the chilling adventures of Sabrina. The girl name is Sabrina, who lives in Greendale. She's a half witch and you know half normal human, half mortal. So basically, uh, baptization hota hai, wo decide that she wants to a witch banna hai, puri zindagi, ya puri zindagi ek normal human. Banna hai. So basically, she chooses her path. But this show is like really the chilling adventures. It has been shown a lot of you know dark academia vibes, uh, magic, and it's a real horror feeling. When you watch it, you will like it's all like terror and thrilling and suspenseful. Number seven comes the Shadow Hunter. If you like watching TVD and the originals and you have like nothing left to watch, then here comes the Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter is basically based on Cassandra Clare's best-selling Mortal Instruments series. In this series, you will join Clary Frey, who is a young Shadow Hunter as she discovers her destiny in the secret world of demon slaying warriors. So, number eight is The Order. Basically, it makes you unveil the secrets of the Belgrave University where the werewolf and the magic collide together. It's basically the dark, suspenseful series which opens you to the complexities of power, loyalty, and supernatural. So, the number nine is the Fate Wing Saga. It unveils you the school for fairies and the specialists uh, in the school of LP. 
where the fairies different fairies are there and the main uh, protagonist is bloom who is the fire fairy she embarks her journey to find her real parents with so now let's move to another genre true human life crisis wale not including any kind of empire web for witches here comes you the alrabi school for girls basically it is set up in jordan and it's you know in the arabic language the series is a high school girl who is dealing with bullying and you will see how she takes on the revenge and the end will left you and will like leave you in total shock it also has a season 2 with a set of different cast and a different story you know uh, which actually has the main plot of bullying body shaming and same kind of for 11 comes the pretty little liars it's a kind of like a murder mystery uh, there are like four to five girls basically there are four girls and fifth one basically died in the starting it has shown that she has died but she actually is not like you will see when you will watch this scene it's really interesting with lots of lies and secrets like next come on number 11 is the emily in paris oh my god this one of my most favorite series like mostly girls love it and it has all about passion romance love in the city of paris in the last season which we actually may have watched it season number 4 so you know you will just see the journey of emily from america to paris to rome basically paris to rome so it is really interesting if you haven't watched amy in paris so much for the girls uh, girls who love fashion new places like paris paris is such a fashion destination it is so beautiful so the next series jo hai wo disney ki series hai who hai the bold type basically agar aapko amy in paris pasand hai to aapko the bold type bhi bahut achhi lagegi isme teen ladki hai unki journey dikhai jati hai in their office uh dealing with you know their uh, fa- family basically with their partner their love life their job and their careers so that's the series about it. it's good like amy in paris jaisi hi hai so now it's the movie's time so basically i would recommend enola homes iske do parts hain part 1 and part 2 both are different basically so enola homes jo hai wo ek uh, teenage uh, यू नो इट्स अ टीन एज गर्ल जो कि बहन है शर्लो होम्स की शर्लो होम्स इज सेल्फ इज हिम सेल्फ अ डिटेक्टिव और उसमें एनोलो होम्स भी डिटेक्टिव का रोल प्ले कर रही है सीरीज में और जो एनोलो होम्स एनोला है उसका जो रोल प्ले किया है वो किया है इलेवन ने जो कि स्ट्रेंजर थिंग्स में इलेवन बनी थी उसने द मिली बॉबी ब्राउन तो इट्स आर रियली अमेजिंग नाइस एडवेंचरस इट मूवी द नेक्स्ट मूवी इज स्कूल फॉर गुड एंड ईवल तो दो लड़कियाँ होती हैं अच्छी होती है और एक बुरी होती है बेसिकली वेन दे एक्चुअली मूव टू द मैजिकल फैंटेसी स्कूल तो दोनों के स्कूल जो हैं वो एक्सचेंज हो जाते हैं अच्छी वाली बुरी स्कूल में पहुँच जाती हूँ बुरी वाली अच्छे स्कूल में पहुँच जाती है सो इट्स एडवेंचरस एंड नाइस फैंटेसी मैजिकल मूवी इट्स अ मस्ट वॉच इफ यू लाइक दैट काइंड ऑफ फैंटेसी मूवी Seeing last but not the least, the last movie in this video which I'm going to recommend. The name is Cruella and it is available on Hotstar, starring Emma Stone. If you love fashion, drama, and revenge, this movie is a must-watch for you. So that's it for the Netflix recommendation video. Uh, don't forget to comment your Netflix favorite series or movies. I would love to watch it. If you want me to make similar videos don't forget to like share and comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you guys for watching lots of love see you in the next video bye